she sounded so strange. I could barely understand her. She sure sounded All right, like she calm wasn't down. around here. It's not that bad, Angela. I'm know. tempted to say she sounded more like she was from another time than another place. You're right. Uncultured swine. Ooh, that's interesting. If I go past a certain point, the light starts flickering, and then when I come back, it's fine. <laughs> like when I'm going in the right direction, the light's fine. I mean, I kind of hate it, because it fucked with my brain a little bit, the, the flashing, the flickering. But it's a nice touch to... Like, story development kind of thing. Another picture? Hell yeah, hell yeah! Tight. hear that? What was that? It's gotta be something small, nocturnal. Nothing to worry about. I really hope you're right. Can we not examine the house? Guess not. Interesting. You see that? Jeebus. Some big ass animal. I hope so. If not, what the fuck? Might get a better view from up there. Um. What, where, where did you just go? Will? I mean Andrew, but Will? <laughs> what this? Ghost towns of the northeast. Little hope, the town returning to nature. The abiding image of a ghost town in the popular imagination of an arid desert shack surrounded b in the po what? I feel like that should say is of an arid desert shack surrounded by tumbleweed. The writing on this is not the best, but that's fine. However, ghost towns exist even in the lush northeast of the United States, buried away in forests, forgotten and abandoned to nature. The reasons for towns to become ghost vary, but inevitably comes back to uh, economics. The town may have boomed from logging, mining or industry, then the jobs go and the people with them. The aptly named Little Hope is one such town. A one factory community built around textiles that disappeared when cheap imports overwhelmed the market. After many attempts to save the mill, it closed and a mass exodus ensued. Soon the school and even the church closed, leaving a desolate ruin. Oh, wait, was there another side? Beckett. Uh, hidden depths. Little Hope is a deserted town, but the forests that surrounded it continue to lure extreme sports enthusiasts. The caverns of Hobbs Deep are famous for ice climbing, but its ice falls are known to be very dangerous. Recommended viewing. Architects of... Something? Uh, unreadable... 
In this week's episode, Kate Wilder rips off the mask of the Zodiac Killer. But, oh, is this that podcast? Or, I don't remember what that was called. No, because the podcast was in the Until Dawn and the, the Quarry. It wasn't in DPA, as far as I remember. Um, in this week's episode, Kate Wilder rips off the mask of the Zodiac Killer, but will, will her hard-hitting investigative style unearth any new facts about the notorious killer? Worth watching for the stunning views of San Francisco taken from the Golden Gate Bridge. Noise. How are you coping? I don't know. What do you think happened to us back there? Um... Go with fearful. I feel like we're in danger. There's something very off about this place. Yeah, I hear you. What is out there? We will find a way out of here. We have to. I hope you're right. With Angela... Appreciate you checking in with me. So, with Angela, it's kind of a... I... don't... really... care so much what happens to her. Like, I'm not gonna be too disappointed if she dies. And then that figure is just fucking gone. Great, love that. Um, obviously, uh, Tanya will. Uh, Andrew and Daniel, I wanna, I wanna keep alive. Um, John, I definitely wanna kill, and Mary. Um, I, I, I really, really don't like her. But then at the same time, there are more complications to her. I don't know, man. Real Hope Historical Society presents The Witch of Edmonton. Play by W.M. Rowley, Sus Decker and John Ford. Performed in historical dress at Little Hope Middle School, Saturday the 17th of April, 7pm. I love that for them. Could this have something to do with what we saw? Mm. I guess it could, but it didn't feel like that. I don't know which is worse. Ghostly apparitions or a town full of historical weirdos. Hmm. Another creepy house. Love that for us.
I'm trying not to miss anything. There's something up ahead! Which way? Can we move it? Amen to that. Look at that! Hey, wait! Stop! I'm just gonna say it. This is exactly what goes down in horror movies. <laughs> that would be me. What the hell do we do now? I'll deal with this. Stay right here. Um... Be careful. Be careful, please. Professor! Damn it! It's just like what happened to us. You think the professor will be okay? Um. Not the you right time for heroics. This is not the time for heroics. A little harsh. He could be in deep shit. What is this? Let's talk kind of gloomy about it. This was a mistake. I should have gone with John. He shouldn't have gone in alone. Don't give yourself a hard time. You think he's okay in there? Uh, I can't tell if they meant harm. I don't know. I can't tell if whatever it was in there meant us harm. I just hope he's okay. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Are you okay? I lost my bearings. I couldn't see you through the thick fog. Did you see the little girl? I could see you back there. That's really odd, because I sure couldn't see you. Your clothes looked different, and your accent was off. You sounded like an actor in some historical play. It must have been someone else you saw. I teach you. I know you. I recognized your face. Whoever you saw, it wasn't me. Now please stop. You're scaring me. I am all done here. Seems the fog won't let us go anywhere except into the center of town. The fog decides where we can and can't go? Fuck that. I'm trying another way. Don't you kids watch horror movies? You never ever split Those up. Those movies are done. Sure. And I'm going this way without you. Maybe splitting up isn't such a good idea, Taylor. No way am I going down there. <sighs> I'm with John. <sighs> Honestly, I'm with Andrew. The town isn't so I far. Just agree. We I all just go in together. Out, out, Granny. No one asked you. Okay, time out. Can we all just take a breath? Think about what our next move is. We can check out more options if we split up. I'll go with Taylor. It's not safe for you to be hanging around here on your own. Two teams are more likely to find a way out. Which is what we all want, right? I guess you're right. If the fog lets you through, and you find help, send them into town to find us. Shut up, John. Don't act like it was your idea. Got a feeling we'll find help faster than the others. As long as somebody does, that's all that matters.
if you have some three. How you doing? This reminds me of Hold up. Left for Dead 2. <laughs> you hear that? Like this bridge. Oh. Hello. Wow, he needed himself fast. What a prick. was just the old guy from the bar on his bike. Stupid old drunk. Uh, somewhere around here, there must be an easier way back up to the road. Let's move out. You got an explanation for what we saw? Nothing that makes sense. I do know there were witch trials in Little Hope around the same time as Salem. What happened? You can figure that out for yourself. What the hell was that? Now what? What's up? <sighs> you look worried. Are you okay? Yeah, thanks. I am more or less, but something here just... <sighs> what we've been through and seen tonight is difficult to stomach. We all have our own way of coping. John here feels the urge to be our leader, the alpha male. Whereas Daniel and Taylor feel an entirely different, somewhat more animalistic urge. Amused. Are you saying what I think you're saying? Grow up a little, Andrew. If you were stuck with Taylor, you would be no different. Uh, this one. We have bigger things to worry about. We do. Uh, as a I'm not sure member really of the getting female, anywhere. we should uh, catch up with John. Identifying human right part of the human race, I heavily disagree with the other option of girls not being interested in Will Poulter. Just saying. Is that a glinty? <gasps> a glinty. Oh, I almost reached it. Oh, another one. I hope I'm not expected to remember all of these, but just in case I am. The first one didn't have one. This, the second one was a circle with an X, and this one's an X with a V. I'm just writing those down. I don't remember what the shapes of the things were themselves, but the symbols below them. Triangle or a square? That's a square. Hiya, Rosa. How's your birthday going? Oh. Fun. Ooh, creepy. Wait, weren't we meant to be going this way? Or no? No, because she's... St right. No, I'm, I'm fine. This is fine. I know where I'm going. Uh, okay. So... I don't like the sound of that. It's nothing to worry about. The fuck did you come from? How were you in behind us? You were in front of us. Did you? I mean, you're a figment of my imagination, so I guess it doesn't really matter where you are, but... Wow, he really is a pussy. Kitty! 
What is it? What's wrong? We saw something moving in there. What exactly are you up to? I'm just taking a look here. Isn't this breaking and entering? I won't tell if you don't. Technically, Anyhow, we didn't break in, so even if here. anyone still owns this house, it would be trespassing, not breaking and entering. Just saying. Modern magic and ritual. Uh, let's see, a triquetra and iron. And I can't tell what that other one is because it's too. Oh, is it? It's a peace sign. I think it's a peace sign. Kind of hard to tell, but I think it's a peace sign. Just trying to see if the contrast is better on the OBS screen, but not really. TC. So maybe this belonged to Tanya? Because that would be Tanya Clark. Modern magic and ritual is the definitive guide to the subject of magic for the new age, as opposed to the to magic for stage magicians. Written for practitioners to hone their knowledge and art, this book examines in detail all aspects of modern magic and offers readers a rich menu of rituals to practice. I need to sneeze. Oh. Whether you believe in karmic consequences or not, there are ethical considerations to magic, such as curses and hexes. These clearly have greater implications than other ethical conundrums, like casting love spells on another person. Some paths forbid it entirely, while others permit it only in self-defence. However, there are a number of questions to the practitioner. Uh, a number of questions the practitioner should ask before casting a harmful spell. Do you dwell too much on the desired results? You may experience disappointment and depression if the result is not what you expected. Are you performing this magic for personal gain? Emotions of avarice or envy might interfere with the magic. It's said that if you don't let go of a grenade, you will eventually blow yourself up. The same can be said of working with harmful magic. Even if you don't believe in the rule of three, it is always best to cleave to Rudolf Steiner's golden rule. For every one step that you take in the pursuit of higher knowledge, take three steps in the perfection of your own character. Uh, for anyone that is not familiar, the rule of three is uh, something that is uh, often taught in newer forms of paganism. Uh, I don't know how prevalent that was in older forms of paganism, but at least in newer forms, I know that it's very prevalent in uh, especially, it's, it's, I think it's mostly given credit to uh, Wicca, but it's, it's not just in Wiccan circles that it's kind of thing. But anyway, the rule of three is that everything you put out into the world will come back to you times three, good or bad. Um, so that's why a lot of like modern witchcraft, they don't promote uh, tr like hexes and trying to play with love and stuff like that because you can upset the like natural order and anything you do that's like really selfish or harmful will come back to you threefold and hurt you um which i mean it is a good way of looking at things it's i mean it's not why i don't do spells like that it's because i don't want to be a dick to people um or manipulate them but you know it's it's it's, it's kind of the it's, it's kind of the thing behind it is like hey don't be a dick to people because karma exists um you know if if the desire to just be nice isn't enough then don't be a dick because you'll get punished for it <laughs> like you know um yeah it, it's it's a good rule i i kind of um it's one of those things where on the few times when I've like got so angry that I have definitely considered hexing people. It's one of those things where like it'll help me. I'll remember the rule three and I'm like, no, 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 no. Step the fuck back, dude. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that that's the rule of three. Doesn't um, 
not something that's in my mind a lot with my witchcraft because like I said I'm way more relaxed I don't really do my journey is more based on myself and my relationship with nature um but it is something that I know of obviously from researching witchcraft and all its forms so yeah if you didn't know that's what that's referring to illustration lock of hair the hair of a living person can be used in many forms of magic, from love spells to curses. When mixed with sulphur and buried, it can inflict harm on the subject. Cool. Ooh, a gun. Four bullets. That might have been a mistake. You all done with poking around? Let's let's be honest. Found this inside. What the hell are you doing with a gun? Hidden under the floor. You should have left it there. Guns are dangerous. We're already in enough trouble. Um. Oh, shit. Uh, I guess you're right. I guess you're right. Give it to me. Oh, can we go get it? <laughs> can we go get it? Is that a thing we can do? I feel like that was a mistake. But... No, you know what? I wouldn't have fucking taken a gun. If this was me and I was in this situation, I wouldn't have taken a random fucking gun from an abandoned house. I have never used a gun in my goddamn life. I've used a BB gun. But not a real one. What kind of place is this? Found a place where people scratch stick figures into trees. I guess. Oh, oh, the rat and bug, the bug down in the valley. Oh, oh, the rat and bug, where the fuck did John go? Seriously, where did John go? Professor? Oi, bitch. Is that a shiny or a reflection of a bubble? Angela, will you get out of my fucking way? Good lord, woman. Move. Move. Thank you. I think it must have just been a reflection in a puddle. How do we get the other side of the fence? Oh, like that. There okay. you are. Um... You flipped out again, dude. You flipped out again. Just like you did on the road. You can't blame me for that. Yeah, I can. You're a what pussy. What the hell was that in there? You act like the alpha male and then you fuck off the minute shit gets real. This and creepy scary little thing. as shit. Really? Just thinking about it terrifies me. And I wasn't in the front line like poor John. Yeah, hilarious. I'm weeping with laughter. Well, don't be a pussy. Bailey's finally conked out asleep on the sofa. 
For anyone that doesn't know, I have a beautiful this older dog called shot. Bailey. She is there must be a triple terrier mixed with fuck inside. knows what. She's conked Maybe out on the sofa right now. Too. Look around for something we can break the glass with. She did have her head right here on the side of the sofa so that I could pet her. And she's finally settled. It's very sweet. Okay. Uh, right. Looking around for things that can help. Oh, shit. I probably shouldn't have picked that up yet. I, I like that it's, like, it shows you which things are going to be story advancing. I feel like that's, that might be part of the, f like, forgiving difficulty level that I chose. That's, that's really nice. It gives me an indication of what I can look at without progressing by accident. Not always. Sometimes I've still done it, but, you know. Ooh, yay, another picture. So that's definitely a picture of the witch trials. Which, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so now we can go grab the block. Little Hope Police Department. Hi, baby, you awake again? You okay, little lady? You okay? I love you. Give me that. I'll smash the window. I can do it myself. No problem. I? I can do this. Okay. If you're sure. Anyone can do this. Not anyone. Putting a rock through a window at ten paces? Anyone can make the shot. If you're feeling under pressure, let someone else do it. I'm not feeling pressure. Just saying. Can you stop talking? Will you just get on with it? The frame will have rotted away and the glass will fall out on its own before you two have finished. <laughs> oh, strike! We'll make a ball player out of you yet. You think a rookie could make a shot like that? safe enough I mean you might want to knock through the corners the like broken shards piece of cake you're up next Oh, the fog is thick down this bit. Holy shit. You believe that woman really looked like Angela? I don't know what John saw, and I don't intend on sticking around to find out. I'm sure it's nothing. Little Hope Middle School. I wonder what closed oh, the shit. school oh, down. Fuck. Really need to pay Forget attention to. Even if you make it over, there's no way I'm following. I never did like school. Let's get out of here. Oh, looks like there's no way through. I might have made a bad call here. Mm, don't stress it. Don't stress it. No one made us come this way. We'll find another way. Whoa, almost missed a sign. Land for sale. No surprise that didn't sell. 
Who'd want... Oh, whoops. Sorry, Daniel, I didn't mean to cut you off. Little Hope 1692. Jeebus. Little Hope Bridge. Playground. Oh, joy. Because a playground in the fog is just so relaxing. So calm. The most calm thing that's ever, ever been experienced. Oh, oh God, sorry. That was supposed to be Mary and it's like a it's like a someone with a black sh a black robe on or maybe like it's the tall creepy demon guy. Weird. I couldn't like look further at that, could I? Jesus Christ, Megan. Over there! Hey, are you okay? Concerned. Who are you? What are you doing here? Something is real off about this whole thing. Is this the same little kid Angela and Andrew saw before? I have no clue. Whoa, you can't be doing that. <laughs> oh, what the there it is. <sighs> Tell me that didn't just happen. Quiet now. What are you talking about? Get away, or you will find me. Come on out, Mary. I know very well you are in there. Please, no, let me go. I will release you once I am sure you will not speak of our secret. Your childish games tire me. You will respect me, and you will say nothing. No! What is this? Let's get out of here right now. Do not find me here. Please. Who are you pleading with? Evil clings to you. That is plain to see. You are mistaken. I am a child. The devil has no time for me. Amy is the one he craves. I have seen it with my own eyes. I will have the truth one way or another. You come with me, girl. What the fuck? Can someone tell me what just happened? Those two kids have to Can be linked someone somehow. Be, you're with one no person, way that's a dude. coincidence. I... I don't get it. Let's not hang around here. It's time to go. Right with you. Okay, but I also don't want to skip the actual normal path, so I'm just gonna go back. Um, can I go back on myself and go this way? 
No, oh, I got turned around. Weird. Okay. Well, I guess I'm going this way. Hope that means doesn't mean I missed an opportunity for some clues before entering the playground. Ooh. Ouchie. I'm glad you're here. Both of us are getting out of here. You'll see. Could mean someone's around. Maybe they can help. Let's head over. Let me help you. I don't think this takes us out of this shitty town. There's no road. Must lead somewhere, though. I'm not so sure. There's barely even a path. Place must have been a grocery store or something. Stop the ravaging factory closure. Jobs, not land. That's progression. That's also progression. Let's go this now way. What? Give me a leg up. I'm going for the stairwell. Seriously? You're going in there? Let me go in first. Let me go in, look around. If it's all clear, I'll come and open the door. I'm not sure. I don't like the idea of being out here on my own. Be right back. Promise. I need your phone. What for? Flashlight. It's dark in there. Please be quick. Throw it to me. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. I'm in. Is it safe? Think so. Okay. Notice of closure, effective June 28th, 1975. We wish to inform you that on Saturday, June 28th, the store will close. Sadly, due to the decline in business since the closure of the factory, we are unable to continue trading. However, Whitman Mart wishes to thank all its customers for their support over the years. Yours, J. Schmidt and A. Lash, General Managers. Oh, was there a second? I should have looked to see. I keep forgetting I can turn things over. Stock to remove, snap. Magazines, alcohol, firearms, tobacco, gas, and oil, dairy, eggs, produce, bread, dry goods, canned electrical goods, and miscellaneous. So they didn't remove the magazines, canned electrical goods, and miscellaneous. Okay. Did they just give up halfway through, or what happened? <clears throat> Can I 
Can I go in this room? Yaha! Uh, okay, that was stairs. Interesting. Can I go in this room? Hey, another picture. Ooh, she looks creepy. Welcome in. That alert gets me more than these games do. That alert scares the shit out of me, even when I'm playing nice, normal, chill, happy games. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Hi, Sandy. How are you doing? Hey, baby. You want pets? I'll give you pets. Oh, sweet girl. Oh, Jesus. Whew. Okay. Local, oh, dated June 14th, 1973. Local minister arrested. A minister in the diocese? of Pleasant River, has been arrested after complaints... So this used to be called Pleasant River, then I'm guessing, this town. Has been arrested after complaints from concerned parents about his behaviour. The arrest comes after recent revelations that the minister conducted an alleged satanic mass. An eyewitness said that the minister of St. David's Church in Little Hope... Oh, okay, Little Hope. Did not resist as he was escorted from his home. Captain Daniel Maguire confirmed that Reverend Leonard Carson, 42, was being held in custody at the Little Hope to Police Department awaiting charges. A spokesman from St. David's commented, I've never seen the minister do anything untoward. His interest in witchcraft was purely academic and he would often warn parents of the spiritual dangers of the occult. Another parishioner who did not wish to be named claimed that the minister was innocent of wrongdoing. That child is known as an attention seeker and I'm certain she has made up the story. Other members of the congregation agreed. Reverend Carson was a good man, a godly man, said one mother of three. I can't believe he'd do anything like this. He's been good to our family. These accusations are lies. No, they're not. He's an arsehole. The district attorney's office did not respond to calls. When contacted, the office of the diocese i don't know if i'm saying that right of pleasant river stated that the bishop had declined to comment but that a deacon something something hmm so maybe we maybe we do want to save mary i forgot how i forgot Honestly, I had forgotten what her part of the story was. I had forgotten just how evil Reverend Carson was. So maybe we just want to fuck over John and Reverend Carson. Maybe we just want to save all four kids, you know? Fuck over John. And then whatever happens to Angela happens to Angela. Excuse me. Okay, nothing else to look at in there. Hello? Are we jumping down or across? Anyone there? Down then, I guess. A lot of flashlights. That's good. Come on, will you? Am I now holding a flashlight? No, why? Oh, that's the door to open to let her in. Okay, hold on. At least I think it is.
Hello? Who's there? You gave me a shock. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to spook you. How did that make our thing lower? How is it in there? I got company of the rodent variety. Ooh, gross. Relax. They look well fed. Head to the front. I'll meet you there. Sure thing. Unlike the rats on the man of the dam. Hold on, I'll be right there. Oh, come on, we need a break here. Number one, Dad, okay. Will you relax? Yeah, Taylor, I'm shut coming. Up. Oh God, go this way, please. Okay, so I couldn't have opened that door anyway. Great. Love that for us. I keep thinking I'm seeing, like, interactable shines, but it's just reflections. Talking about me. There are accusations. Accusations of what sort? There's talk that I'm in league with the devil, that I'm guilty of witchcraft. There's no sense in that. Who would say such a thing? Mary. I, I cannot rightly say. Uh, confront. Stay where you are. Fine. Just tell me what's happening. How did I get here? And where the fuck is he? Hold your tongue. You are privy to the rumors about my wife, Amy? What rumors? Open the door, Joseph. This instant. Enough of your foolishness. Tell me precisely what you know. Uh, it's all good. I did see a young girl back there. Tell me about her. The priest. The girl, she... She was with this priest. Reverend Carver. The one now beating on our door. Mary. Come now, Mary. Mary? Mary saw me in the woods a day or so back. I was about my daily business, nothing more. There is more to this. Mary does not like me chiding her. Perhaps she's spoken out against me. She has a temper. 
You suggest the rumours are Mary's doing. She's a troubled child for sure, but this is beyond her. Jules, if this ends badly, if you do not open up, you'll be in contempt of our warrant. What plan do we have? I will resolve this, my word on it. Do not admit them. Reverend Carver. Marshal. I have here a legally written warrant for the arrest of Amy. Amy. My wife has done nothing wrong. Fuck there Angela. is a witness to your wife speaking in tongues. Who accuses my wife? Mary. Mary. The word of a child condemns my wife. You will deliver yourself into the Marshal's hands for your own good. Then I must accompany her. She will not leave my sight. Such action will not aid your wife's cause. Trust in justice. Do not fear. I will find a way to resolve this. That guy is in House of Ashes. So, Sandy, my aim today is to um, fuck over John, try and save all the kids, and... Where the hell have you been? Angela, I haven't decided. You look freaked. What's up? You saw something else, right? This was different. I think they could see and hear me. It was hard to tell exactly. They seemed really spooked. You see anything else? Mm. Priest again. Priest. The one from the playground. I, I don't know. It, it didn't make much sense. You're kidding me. No. He was real scared. Like... He believed the devil was in little hope. Holy shit. What in the hell are we mixed up in here? Oh, we've really screwed up here. Instead of getting out of this awful place, we're right back in the middle of town. No me gusta. What do you think? I'm not so sure we'll find anything useful in here. It's derelict. You students are all the same. Doom, gloom, and negativity. No, I just think that everything you do is wrong. Looks. That's all. All we need is one phone to still be hooked up. Even if I actually agree with it, this it's wrong because you're dump, doing it, John. Even for this shithole town. Something up? Yeah, there's something kind of familiar about this place. Have you got a big-time criminal past we don't know about? Serial jaywalker? These small-town police stations all look the same. There's gotta be a phone in here someplace. You're deluded if you think there's anything here. Place is dead. Just like the rest of Little Hope. Is that it? The only thing in here? Okay.
Reynolds. Little Hut Police Department. I've lost everything. Wow. Jinkies. Nope. Nothing. Jesus. Okay. Keep looking. Shut up, John. Township of Little Hope Certificate of Commendation presented to Little Hope Police Department. On January 16th, 1972, officers George Reynolds and Ernie Hoffman responded to a call concerning a house fire. Arriving before the fire service, the officers, with no concern for their own safety, rushed into the house to attempt to rescue the family members trapped inside. Tragically, many lives were lost as they were beaten back by the flames. However, the mayor, chief of police and a grateful public thank the police department for their continued dedication to service april 4th 1972 samuel a carver mayor so that was likely our house fire got it fucking thing i thought this was her way out I think that's the door that the, we step out and the guy like shouts at us so I'm gonna wait unless that was in the church I don't remember Real old witch nice. gale oh old witch wait I <laughs> said gale that's old witch jail I not only know that that spelling is pronounced jail because we have one in our village. It's not for witches, but we have an old jail in our village and it's spelt like that. And I always used to call it a gale and my mum always used to correct me growing up. Uh, built 1684, demolished 1783. In 1692, during the Little Hope Witch Trials, many of the accused were imprisoned here. Got it. Yeah, that's like an old spelling of the word jail. Angela, get the fuck out of my way! There's gotta be something. Dumb bitch. God, I might just kill you just because you keep getting in my way and it's fucking annoying. We have a winner. Found a phone. This could be our way out. Mine's dead. Don't fucking look at me like that. Shit! Whoa! Hey! Take it easy. Can you stop reacting to every setback like a child? Look here. The cable is missing. Uh, there's got to be a cable here someplace. Search for a phone cable. I mean, isn't that just a phone on the wall? No? I don't know what that is. Okay. Well. Searching through channels. Also love the dark anthologies. Yes, dark pictures anthology is so fun. Yeah, I I have 
not played this one before, but I, where's the, oh, there we go. Um, yeah. Okay, uh, did I look in here already? Nope, I did not. Hippie junk? I love that. Give it to me. <gasps> A moon! I want! What? Oh. What? But that phone's not working. I wanted to look at the moon! <laughs> I love a rule like, excuse the fuck out of me, Mr. Phone! Answer it. Um, yeah, why not? I got this. I can do this. Be careful. John, fuck off. Don't stress no one asked you. Wishing for the best. Can't wait to see how it goes. Thank you. What can you hear? A woman. She sounds real upset. You have to calm whoever it is down. You'll get nothing if they're hysterical. Uh, let's go with question. Can you tell me what you're upset about? Okay, it's all good. I'm gonna help you out here if I can, but I... I need to know your name. If you do. I really don't like this dude's vibe. We have an vibe. understanding, do we not? No evil word shall leave my lips. Should you breathe a word, or the edge of a word about? Like even if it's not what they intend, it, like even if some terrible night, he's just supposed to be like a now, weird devil the worshiper. The vibe he gives Go off with can. this "you must not talk of our secret" definitely is that of a different kind of abusive if you catch my drift and it extremely unsettles me and it does make me feel sorry for mary um because she is clearly a fucked up traumatized child and it's his fault and maybe she's possessed by the devil maybe she's just an abused kid that's traumatized and is trying to blame other people for things to try and get heat off of her because her little mind is all fucked up because one of the people that's supposed to be teaching her how to be a person is only teaching her how to be afraid and i relate to that way too heavily and i'm starting to feel i'm starting to remember why when i watched one of the playthroughs of this like the, one of the first playthroughs i watched of this ages and ages ago when it first came out i felt sorry for mary I think I might have to save her soul and fuck over. Yeah, I definitely, I need to save her. I need to save her. I am saving all the children. Screw the I adults. Beseech this court and good judge Wyman. Do not be fooled by the protestations of the accused. The devil is the master of deceit. All his servants feign innocence. Mm, yeah, that's not They can do all. little else. I solemnly swear before God, I am innocent of all accusations against Hush me. Hush now, Amy. Push now, Amy. Uh, stay quiet, I guess. We need to stay quiet. We just let this play out. See what happens. I mean, no offense, Reverend Carver. I do not believe any of my neighbors. Those who know me best will speak out against me. They know who I am. That I side with the righteous. I will not be caught in the web of your deception. The devil hides himself where he is least expected. My wife is no devil's plaything, Reverend. I beg the court's forgiveness. But I stand by my statement. My wife Amy is innocent. 
I respectfully ask this good court well, to pay no mind to the words of a man of whose very home is foul with the stench of brimstone. Um, let's approach the kids. I beg you, good judge. Let us conclude our business here without further ado. Lest we afford the forces of darkness the opportunity to bend these proceedings to their will. No! Mary? Mary, my sister, what ails you? What the? Stay out of this. What have you done to this child? You have bound an innocent girl into a pact with the devil himself. The poor oh. creature seems possessed. What no doubt you're of? doing. It's not true, Reverend. Why have you taken against me so? We will the see the truth of it. Her. Amy, lay your hands on Mary. Let us see what occurs. No if I am sister. correct, your you touch will no release danger. her from this affliction. What ails you? It must be so if you are the one who bewitched her. Leave her alone! Who speaks? Who's there? God preserve us. The master cannot help you now. It is too late. They are here among us. They are here among us. What more proof is needed that the devil walks among us in little hole? <laughs> Take heed and pray. The devil is here in this very room. Protect yourselves. Sit oh, out. I'm so conflicted. It's so weird because it's like she takes pleasure in it. How was that shit? But then at the was same time, the, the Reverend is like. Didn't the witch trials happen centuries ago? Most of them over 300 years ago. Um, the only other way I could maybe see it is that if she actually is evil, then maybe he's like using the occult to try and cure her. And the reason he doesn't want her to talk about it is because if he gets found out, he'll be killed and then he won't be able to get the devil out of her. That's the only other way that I could see that going is that he's actually not evil and she is and that it, we're meant to feel sorry for her because the devil has taken the form of this innocent child and it looks like an abusive situation but really he is trying to get the devil out of her that's the only thing i can think of because she in that moment genuinely looked like she relished in that moment of like acting and blaming someone else like getting condemning someone else to death like, she's old enough to understand that that's what she just did. Like, that was not, like, that didn't appear like a scared little girl being manipulated. That appeared like an evil bitch happy that she just killed someone. I'm so torn! <laughs> Fuck. How come we just saw one? Like I say, It just I doesn't no make sense, you know? believe how much that woman looked like me how in the hell is that even possible when you first well, told past me lives, I thought you were dude. messing with me it's or fine. exaggerating that's not the confusing but thing about the story woman for worry myself about it, was a whole world of weirdness that little girl who had some kind of seizure what do you think was going on there I think she's a lying bitch I know that little girl. She's the one me and Angela saw back in the woods. That woman, my double? What's she looking at if the trial goes against her? The sentence for confirmed witches in Little Hope was always brutal. Violent death, drowning, hanging, burning. And let's hope she is, or was, found innocent. Accusations were often malicious, made by someone with a grudge. Or by meddling liars, like that little girl. 
who took perverse pleasure in poisoning their own communities. I don't know, dude. Because I can see it both ways. She is just a kid and she it does appear like she's being manipulated by the Reverend, but it also might not be what it seems. Appearances can be deceiving, especially when the devil is involved. <sighs> she is just a child, though. Either way, whether she's being manipulated by the devil himself or by Reverend Carver, she is just a kid. Come on. I don't She's think it's the kid, kid herself. Who most likely doesn't get how because big a deal the whole thing is. She knows exactly how serious When we it saw... Is. Either way, the woman on trial... Also, I just want to Angela disagree with John because he's never allowed to be right. She seemed like um, she saw us. When and we saw so Megan... Did some of the others. At the beginning of the game... You're right about that. They definitely saw us. I can't talk while they're talking because it... Fucks my brain up. When we saw Megan at the beginning of the game when she burned the house down... When she said, like, you're right, she was talking to this entity, right? So she's definitely possessed. But even still, that entity is manipulating her. Like, even if she's doing the things, it's because it's someone else's will, you know? Like, someone else is, in, in, in like, manipulating her. So, either way... Whether she, I guess, whether she looks like she's taking pleasure in that shit or not, it's because either she's being abused and is doing whatever she can to try and keep Reverend Carver pleased so he goes easy on her, or it's because she's possessed by the devil and the devil's happy and she actually has very little say in what she does. Um, either way, the physical form of the child herself is not to blame in my eyes someone is manipulating her just whether it's the patriarchy or the devil himself <laughs> this is up for up for debate but i still don't think it's her fault if that makes sense a little kid just seeing us appear out of nowhere could easily believe that was witchcraft, especially back then. Dream up all the excuses you want for that little kid. I don't trust her one little bit. We can't explain how we happen to see each other. How do you expect some little girl from 300 years ago to wrap her head around it? That woman, my double, was very distressed, almost traumatized. Yeah. It was tough to watch, Jesus. for sure. I just stopped putting this down on the desk. Mmm... I noticed something else weird. Her husband? He looked a lot like you, Professor. The two people with that little brat look just like Daniel and Taylor. What the hell does all this mean? God, I really want them to die. Who's that? Hey, Professor! You in there? Come on, let's go. Hey, Taylor, we're in here. We can't open the damn doors. We can't either. They must be locked. Let's all try to force the handle. In three, two, one. <laughs> Taylor. Hey, Professor. Find anything that could get us out of here? Nothing that's going to help us much, but I found this. It's kind of neat. I don't believe it. I saw this exact keychain in my dream. That's pretty weird. It's more than weird. It's significant. I just don't know how. Still think splitting Angela up was a smart really move? Weird in the background. I would say I'm now... More open to exploring other options. I'm glad you two are finding this funny. Personally, I think we're in deep shit here. You know what happened to your double, right? She was accused of witchcraft. Not just accused. 
Tried, found guilty, and condemned. We need to know what that woman is facing. What's gonna happen to her next? I like the idea. But how would we even begin to find that out? We've already been down those paths. Maybe the answer lies down the one path we haven't taken yet. What the hell? This is fucking crazy. We have no clue what we're getting ourselves into. Mm. It's building to something. The trial, the strange girl, Angela's double. Feels like it's all building towards something. Only question is, are we headed someplace good or bad? And bad is probably very, very bad. Oh joy, we're playing as John again. Hey, a postcard. Little Hope Police Department. Oh, this is the Tilly Johnson Memorial. Tilly Johnson, 1836 to 1858. So she was only 22 years old. A promising young author who died tragically after writing her first novel. And the thing has fallen off of it. Taylor, you need to see this. You've got to be kidding me. What is that thing? You ever have any family here? In this shithole? No way. Why does that weird fucking thing look like me? It, it really it's exactly her is there a reason why the phone light he's using isn't on anymore Miss Bailey Bum is being an uppity bum bum. Good girl, that's better. Um, yeah, I feel like that phone torch is meant to be working and it's not. Hail rock and roll. Dolce periculum. 
Father of Fire, Jeweled Curse, The Roadhouse, 322, Palmyra, $2.50, 8pm, Saturday, February 12th. Cool. Daniel, you need to see this. What's going on? Another coincidence. This guy looks just like you. Recognize him? No. And I've never been in a band either. Hmm. Maybe the fog was the reason for the diversion. We were never meant to make it out of here. Stump my knees, do a little zigzag, do ba do ba do bump bump. Can't see for shit. This does not look safe. <laughs> Jesus! The water looks black. I don't want to go anywhere near it. Okay. Who's first up? Huh. Professor, you keep telling us you're in charge, so... I feel like he's an arrogant enough to be like, yeah. Okay. Sure thing. Is it safe to cross? Don't stress. The professor and me will make sure you get across, no problem. You don't know whether it's safe to cross or not. To pretend otherwise is just a load of crap. Okay, so we just hang around here and do nothing? I just want to make him an asshole and make sure no one likes him as much as I can. Effect. My God, what do we do? We can't stay here. <laughs> Look at that gorgeous burb. year of our Lord, 1692, we are here present to bear witness to a just execution. No! Amy is declared guilty of consorting with the devil, and is to be drowned as a witch and sorceress. Let us pray in silence for her soul. I've done no wrong. I am no witch. I do not deserve death. I beg you. I don't know how to help you. Tell me what I can do. Please, sir. You must help me. You must. The devil is in the wind, seeking to help his own. He would release her from the chains. Isaac, let us conclude our business here swiftly. The will of the court must be imposed before it's too late. The devil fortifies her. You must bind her tightly. You cannot do this! Isaac, I am innocent. fulfill the will of the court. Send this witch back into the lap of her master, lest he come for us all. Little Orph is already lost, shrouded in evil. But not as you claim from witchcraft or outside demons, we have poison from within! 
You will not save yourself with riddles. There is no riddle. The devil takes many forms. You know that better than any. In Lil Hope, he has hid himself under a shroud of innocence, taken the form of a child by accuser. While Mary still draws breath, Lil Hope remains beyond salvation. There lies your evil reference. Be your very fix. Isaac. So both Amy and Anne were kind of suffocated um, Anne by gas, Amy by drowning in the river. What did you so see? those tell paralleled me. quite well. I don't know how to tell you what I just saw. Your double was pushed into the river in chains. She drowned. Don't like that. So that time version of them, there's Amy, Jacob, Mary, Tilly. And I forget what the other two are called. All right, I'll go first. I don't think we've actually seen their names yet. Okay, you two, get on down here. For anyone that doesn't know, I'm keeping a record of how they died in the first like house burning down. Uh, and then how they die in these flashbacks. And then kind of comparing that with what what the creepy creatures that represent them look like and what happens to them if the I lose that? any of them. Because I'm a fucking data comparison nerd. What is that thing? Get away from it! Oh yeah, do that. That that's her. Get the hell out of there! Jamie Brown. Look out! Shit! Don't leave me behind! Hey! I would never. Give me a hand here! Hold on, hold on! Uh, rescue Angela. I'm coming of back for you, John! Hold on! Reach up and grab my hand! Up and grab onto me. Uh, yeah, trust him. Okay, I trust you. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Go again. I'll catch you this time. Oh, please do. Never mind. I'll get myself up. Oh, okay. Angela, why you John, I'll be right back. You can do this. Relief. Okay, triangle. X. 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 So much of the X. Oh, oh, that was so close. Okay, John's gonna be fine because it's not like really coming for him anyway. <laughs> it was going for him. So, when I do my death run of this, which I, I do my first playthrough on stream and then I do everything else off stream unless I'm doing a co stream for it. So, when I do my, if, whenever I do my death run, that's obviously a point where Angela can probably die. Phew, that was really quite close for Angela. She was almost lost to a fate worse than death. Uh huh. Not that there's anything particularly it's wrong with death. curator time, guys. <laughs> well done. Not a soul lost so far. 
things could have been quite different. Andrew had a gun. How could you have let something so precious be lost like that? Given where it went and what came out of there, I suppose we can consider it lost forever. Ooh, yeah, get that good crotch zoom. Theories. Yep. Didn't we get one of those in Man of Medan as Andrew well? Has suggested be the These motherfuckers know what they're doing. Historical counterparts. Maybe you're choosing to believe Daniel's theory that they're already dead. <laughs> My dream was lengthened oh. after life. Oh, then began the tempest to my soul. I passed, me thought, the melancholy flood with that sour ferryman, which poets write of, unto the kingdom of perpetual night. <laughs> it's possible, I suppose. Maybe the bus driver can shed some light. This must be very confusing for you right now. Doppelgangers, witches, ghosts, death, and demons? What could possibly tie all of these souls together? I dare say we'll find out. Hmm? I have been granted permission to give you a single hint. Tempted? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Why not? You're gonna give it to okay, me no matter what then. I say, so. We will once again turn to the bard for some cryptic inspiration. I met him once, you know. I meet everybody once. Act five, scene one, where Cleomenes begs Leontes to forgive himself for causing the death of Hermione. Do as the heavens have done. Forget your evil. With them, forgive yourself. Go on then. As terrifying as it might be, you should get back to it. 